invert is clinically engineered to increase landing absorption up to eight times your own body weight. The more force you can sustain upon landing, the higher you will jump. And welcome to the Samsung NBA Summer League 2016 edition in the city of Las Vegas, Nevada, the entertainment capital world, the city of second chances and a great place to make a first impression. A couple of games coming up. The first one as we look at the format four 10 minute quarters group play. The lob for Dunn, and that's a great way to start his career. This is with the Nuggets from overseas in Spain. Thumbs up court for the Nuggets. Emmanuel Moutier took it right into the chest. Minnesota leading 3-1. Here's Dunn with all three points so far, staying aggressive. And why not? Chris Dunn with five quick points. Yeah, he's been involved in every offensive possession. All kinds of different activities. NBA debut in Summer League, Chris Dunn getting to the bucket a couple of times and a real catalyst. The important thing for us is to evaluate what we have first and go step by step. So the first part was the draft and then there's free agency. <laughs> I have never heard that kind of resume. Wow. <laughs> Moutier from downtown. Can you read that again? <laughs> it might take me a quarter. Denver down by three after the Denver, meanwhile, had missed its last six before that make by Gary Harris. Excellent execution out of the timeout. Moutier with the drive, and he draws the foul on a Chris Dunn. Like Moutier, if he could improve that, they could they could attack yes, through, through the post. Meanwhile, Jones knocks down the corner three. And From it's, Dunn. Yep, 32 to 18. Does not convert, but it ends up as a basket for his team. And then there you see the creativity, making the right play, the easy play for his teammate. And then he gives a little bonus, knocks down a step back jumper. As Jones battling for minutes in that crowded T-Wolf backcourt. And Mudio using some of that strength to go to the bucket. See the pace here, Minnesota pushing the ball back at Denver and establishing their pace, their tempo. And boy, Carl Anthony Towns, what a talent he is for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Part of their foundation moving forward. Jimmer in the open court. Got it! At some point in his evolution. Moutier got blocked but fouled by Adrian Payne. Yeah, Dunn started off making his first two shots but has gone. Harris knocks down the long two off a great dime by Moutier. Wow. And you're going into an NBA a nice dish and finish. Done with good ball pressure, but Hernan Gomez off the sweet feed by Moutier. Seven on the shot clock for Jones. Dunn fires away and knocks down that jump shot. That's his, the marriage capital of the world, <laughs> Las Vegas. And a healthy marriage in its infancy with Chris Dunn. Be able to run his team, be a true floor leader, and, uh, and help our young guys. In the third quarter, I'm Mark Jones chopping it up court side along with Tom Penn. And Amin El Hassan as Chris Dunn knocks down another outside shot. Temporarily, anyway, silencing some of the critics. How valuable do you think a role that was for this Minnesota team last year in having KG a presence in the locker room? And nice feed by Fredette to Moutier inside. Moutier with the crossover and finish. And it's a two-point game. That'll help. Great defense by Dunn with a steal. Three on one. Jones with the finish. All started by. And Murray. Ooh. Uh, yeah, Dunn just blew by Murray. As possible. And, uh, you know, many a time a general manager will have a conversation later saying, we didn't see our guy enough. Give him every minute he can. He calls for the lob. And that's now you call. Moutier affecting the game at both ends. Big burst from him. Dunn trying to put things back on the rails for the T-Wolves running the point. An 11-0 Denver run. A little over seven minutes to go. Dunn, tough shot. And he gets to the free throw line. Well, that's key. Get to the line. I don't think it affects it at all, although Joe Lake of their owner said they were going to go away from... Uh, Dunn hurt his hand 
trying to get the rebound. And Chris Dunn writhing in pain. Hand always feels better when you get to touch the ball, right? Or shoot it. Yeah, his hand's okay, folks. Just fine. <laughs> it's working just fine. Chris Dunn starting to sizzle here in the desert with 21. Nice step back, high release. The question with him is the dependability of that jump shot. It's been a good start. His jump shot tonight, Tom, has been better than advertised, but he commits the foul there. Yeah, it's going to take him a little while to sort all that out. New regime in charge with the Colangelos as Chris Dunn just giving it to Jamal Murray right there. And this will be easy room service for Chris Dunn. They get the switch. Dunn going to go to work on Hernan Gomez. Feeling nice, Chris Dunn cooking with hot grease tonight. Nine, pardon me, 10 of 17 now. Regular season backcourt leading the way. Moutier with 23, Harris with 22, and Moutier adding eight rebounds. Well, Emmanuel Moutier, another solid performance tonight. You were one of the best players in Summer League last year. What's the difference between last year and this year? Uh, I think I'm just more comfortable, uh, you know, going uh, through a full season, especially with veterans and playing against the best of the world. So I'm definitely more confident, I'm more relaxed. Coach Malone talked about he wanted to see you develop into a better leader, both in terms of game management, also being an example for the younger players on the team. What does that mean to you? How do you take that, that directive from him? I mean, that, that means they have a lot of confidence in me to, you know, control the team. Uh, that's one thing that they said to me coming in my rookie year. Uh, for the future, you know, they want to control the team. So it's definitely a blessing to be in that position. I thank God for it, but I just got to keep working and just keep developing. All right, thanks a lot, Emmanuel.